Hi everyone, I am Krishna Mani. Welcome to today's session. Today our topic is elaboration in ovoid. So, what are the topics we are going to discuss in this topic? So, the first one is the what is the purpose of elaboration? What is the what is an elaboration? What are the tasks performed in elaboration? And what are the key ideas and the best practice that we use in elaboration? And what are the artifacts used in elaboration? So, before going to this topic, we have to know. We have to know the about unified process. So, what is the unified process? Because elaboration is the second phase of the unified process, it follows the totally four process. The first one is the inception, second one is the elaboration, third one is the construction, and fourth one is the transition. So, then coming to unified process. So, unified process is a software development process. It uses the iterative development because the system may need any iterations before it is ready for production. So then coming to what is the purpose of elaboration. So the primary purpose of this phase is to complete the most essential parts of the project that are high risk and plan the construction phase. This is the part of the project where technical risk is fully evaluated by building the highest risk part of the project. So during this phase, personal requirement should be more accurately determined along with estimated hours to complete the project. So, the complete cost and time frame of the project is morally firmly determined. During this phase, how the system will work must be considered. Use case will be helped to identify the risk. So, along this process, complete the project plan with construction iterations plan with the requirements for each iteration and mostly 80% of use cases are complete and significant use cases are described in detail. The project domain model is defined and rank use cases by priority and risk. Do the highest priority, highest risk use cases first. Then coming to second one is the what is an elaboration. So during this phase, the project team is expected to capture majority of the system requirements. So however, the primary goal of elaboration is to address non-risk factors and to establish and validate the system architecture. So, the common process undertaken in this space include the creation of use case diagrams, conceptual diagrams and package diagrams. So, what are the goals in elaboration phase? So, then coming to goals of the elaboration phase is refine the vision, identify and describe all the requirements, finalize the scope, design and implement the core architecture and their functions and resolve high risk and produce realistic estimation for cost and Shape. And the third one is the what are the tasks performed in elaboration. So the core risky software architecture is programmed and tested. The majority of the requirements are discovered, stabilized. That means it making more stable and the majority risks are mitigated or retired. That means we have to reduce the risks. So in this, the information about the requirement is expanded and refined. This information is gained during the inception and elicitation. So, elaboration focus on developing a refined technical model of software, functions, futures and constraints. Consists of several modeling and refinement tasks. It is an analysis modeling task. So, uses the use case are developed, domain classes are identified along with their attributes and relationships. The state machine diagrams are used to capture the life of an object. The end result is an analysis model that defines the functional, informational and behavioral domain of the problem. So, elaboration is the initial series of iterations. So, what is an iteration? What is the use of these iterations? Because it gives us so many benefits. That means, so what are the benefits of iterations? So, it can reduce the high risk and early visible progress and early feedback and managing the complexity by using this iteration we can use it to improve the development process itself by applying iterations by iterations and fourth one is the key ideas and best practice in elaboration here in this do short time box of risk driven iterations that means its end date is fixed it lasts for two to six weeks Start programming early, adaptively design, implement, test the core and risky parts of the architecture, test early, often realistically, 
adapt based on feedback from test users and developers write most of the use cases and other requirements in detail through a series of workshops one per elaboration iteration and coming to last one what are the artifacts we are using in elaboration so it contains a different types of artifacts first one is a domain model second one is a design model third one is a data model fourth one is the software architectural document fifth one is the use case and prototype sixth one is a test model and seventh one is a implementation so then coming to first one domain model so this is a visualization of domain concepts and second one is the design model this is a set of diagram that describes the logical design this includes the class diagrams object diagrams package diagrams and etc and the third one is the data model this includes the database schemes and mapping the strategies between the object and non object representations and fourth one is the software architectural doc it summarizes the key architectural issues and their design it is a summary of the outstanding design ideas and their motivation in the system and fifth one is a use case and prototype it description of the user interfaces path of the navigations usability models and etc and sixth one is a test model it implement the source code and database that are presented in this test model and last one is a implementation so it deals with what will be tested and how it is done so the overall elaboration phase is the main aim of elaboration phase is to refine the initial requirements refine the use cases refine the architecture monitoring the risks and refine the priorities refine the business cases produce the project management plan the major activities of the elaboration phase is the refinements or elaborations of the previous phase so this is about the elaboration thank you